making a cow tag for one of our calves that was just born on the ranch. So she'll be getting that going. She's at the computer getting that. Nox just rolled in. Shiny, bushy tail, a little tired looking. A little, little tired. Make sure you edit out my bags and my... Is it a wild Friday night? <laughs> no, actually it wasn't. Remember, he is single, guys. He's in mind. <laughs> Nothing like cowboy candy can't fix. <laughs> <laughs> Got Nico on camera too today. That's first uh -huh. time for us. What's up, Nico? What's up, everybody? Oh, yeah. Shout out to everybody. Of course, Zach running the main camera. We got Matt. Good morning. Nice met Matt. And his daughter, Aubrey. A little exciting. Surprise this morning. Roll up to the fuel tanks at 6 o'clock, fill the truck up, throw some trash, hook up the trailer, which the lights weren't running. And I see two horses. I'm like, ah! I'm like, ah! And then I see them. When they brought the horses, we're gonna do some real roping, some real falling off, and some real cowboy action. <laughs> right, man? Yeah, a little bit of uh, probably more falling off. <laughs> All right, you gotta tell everybody what you do with your horse. Okay. Well, we rodeo. My daughter, she breakaways and does barrel racing, the rodeo events. So I brought her rope horse along, plus the old faithful George. That's awesome. So, we got we'll say it's, I'm a little rusty, so we'll. Probably won't see all the bad stuff. <laughs> we got to get a clip of that rodeo and slide in there for a little advertisement. <laughs> so, all right, so, well, Reggie's coming up. I hear Reggie outside yelling at us. <laughs> so we're going to uh, finish some eggs, finish some coffee, make a cow tag, and uh, get on this field before it gets hot. It's like 100 degrees yesterday, so. A couple uh, bulls to sort out of this early. We have 15, 16 bulls. Uh, in the field right now and about 30 mamas. We're going to try to round up in a portable corral, throw them through the chute, put the bulls in the trailer, and then we're going to run the uh, mama heifers back to the field with the spring in it for the summer. Get a little low on yep. water out of here. Yep. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so I told you Sarah's gonna be making a tag. I lied. I had to get this in the video to make sure. You know, laughing. So this is a glow forge, and we just moved it out here in the garage, which is a mess in the new office. And uh, what this one normally do is laser engrave our tag on this. So we have a system for the year, if it's a bull, if it's a heifer, what field it came out of. But since um, since we can't get this to connect to the internet and we gotta get in the field, this is me making a cow tag. Old fashioned way. Yeah, you know, it never stays on the tag. 255. Hold it up for us. Boom. Oh, yeah. Not as nice as a glow forge. Yeah. <laughs> oh. There we go. Everybody's ever seen one of these. So, pretty great leather, our tags, all the gloves. Pretty, pretty oh. good. So. Oh, that's awesome. Sorry we couldn't make you a cool tag this morning, but. More on the uh, engraving count tag. Alright guys, so this is an insecticide and uh, what we do with this is we run the cows through the corral or in a feed trough or any area that we can get them kind of herded up and put it down their backs. It's going to help keep the flies off of them for a couple months and uh, only have to do this in the summer. Uh, it's safe, it's ready to use directly on the cows. Um, 
and this is what we found to be the best for flight control. Obviously flight control is going to help keep the pink eye and all kinds of other viruses and stuff out of the cows. Uh, just give a little healthier herd. So uh, There's all kinds of different ways to treat uh, flies on the cows. We've got a fly control and a high mag that we use and uh, a lot of people put stuff over the feed in the feed. We don't do that. We don't mess with feeds here on the farm. We are using all of our cattle for beef and uh, we find this to be the safest, easiest way to keep the flies out of the cows uh, for the healthy herd. So we'll spray this in this pump sprayer and you'll see me spraying this on the cows backs uh, later on today. So. Parker man! Cowboy. Parker normally doesn't wake up this early. I'm moving cows. What do the cows say? So we're trying to kill time. What they're doing right now is putting all the cows out of this field into our portable corral system. to give uh, hopefully two new heifers okay. some earrings yeah. so okay. this is a DNA test and what we're going to do is we're going to take this gun and we're going to insert this I'll show you here in a second when we're done when we do this over here but we're basically going to take a little itty bitty plug and send off to get their DNA sample it's going to give us the genomic test and this is how we find out how the genetics are in the cow the marbling the milk the yearling it's all been factored we'll have a whole episode on talking about genetics and genomics but uh, this is going to be our standard just uh, cow tackle. So we'll set this up like this. We'll go up the cow. This will push through the ear and lock in the tag and give us a good tag for the calf. So this is a, a different kind of tag. This is a uh, Z tag. We use a different kind of tag last year, but we wanted to start making our own tags and we couldn't find blank tags. So this is a new gun for us. We've only used it once or twice. Seems to work okay, but not my favorite tagging system, just being honest. So. So we're gonna go track down these two, hopefully heifers. We're gonna let this cowboy and cowgirl do some cowboy and cowgirl crap. And then we're going to uh, hold the calf down, tag it, get a DNA sample, then come back to the pens before it gets hot. Here we go. I was like, ah! <laughs> Little guy was strong. I was sprinting trying to catch I up to you. Him and he kicked me square in the chest. I went, ugh, and let go of him. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh well. I'm two for two. Two for two, baby. So much for the cowboys. <laughs> Ooh, it's getting hot. Yeah. 
held in chain. Yeah. How much does one of these machines cost? It's about ten thousand dollars here for the uh, for the arrow quip. This is their top of the line head shoot. It gives us a really quiet, smooth shoot, and it uh, has a lot of control for us. Nice. So, we got this last year just for this operation. About how often do you Whoa. do this operation? Just a couple times a year uh, in each field, just between medicine and calves. When we get the calves in the field, we do those other two. It helps not have to do this. But uh, this pull has been away from us a couple times, and so it's the first time we've had it to shoot. So uh, we've got a little bit of fly control here, just right down the back, helping with the flies. Uh, we got a DNA sample, like Matt said, and then we got a first tag on this on this bull. So this bull will go to a yearling sale here in the next couple months. We got to get the DNA back first. So we're unfortunately we don't have. So we have a holding pin. So yeah. All right, I need a little pressure on that side. Make sure that you don't try to turn. I don't think you will. And it's coming out. Hey. Good job. Matt's got the truck. The nice thing about this shoot is uh, a lot of shoots have poles here, and you have to move these poles in and out to kind of tighten them in. This one's really nice because you can just work the bar, you know, and once you get it, you can't, you can't go back. So you've got, you know, small calves down here, big calves, big cows, lots of different places to get it. All right, let's move some more cows in. We'll come back to the shoot. It's really, really nice. get them in the corral at first they want to come in there to eat and they grain they'll bring them in there yeah just as you saw moving cows so they'll, they'll follow your this four wheeler because they want that grain got a little feeding there we're trying to hurt them get them coming this way so we can push them right in that corral over there once they get in there over time as the longer they stay in there they get restless and uh, especially with us working on them and Saturday it got really hot so they really got restless as Zach saw they can pick them panels straight up and uh, move them. So uh, the more they stay in there and the longer they stay, they get restless and uh, they start pushing. And, and that's why it's so important to work fast, uh, be productive, get what you need done and get out uh, because it, it can cause a danger to you and it can cause danger to the calves, cows, all, everybody involved. Well, you know, I, I came out with the JNS Ranch shirt and hat on standing outside the gate getting Joe on, so it's time to get in there and get to work. Time to get in there and get to this work, baby. This done right here, ranch style.
We're doing good though. We've got all of our bulls in here, but one that was too young. And uh, what do you think, Mavic? Successful. Pretty good. A little hot yeah, though. A little hot though. It's getting hot fast. This is not good June work. This is better February work. So <laughs> we're about uh, 30, 35 minutes away from having all the bulls in the trailer and all the females accounted for, uh, sprayed and cut loose. And then we're going to try to do a quick push oh, to man. the other field. Uh, before it gets so hot they won't move. I guarantee you though they're already going to go lay down in the shade and we might not get them pushed today but pushing them's easy compared to this so it's going good. You know what's going on with that brown one right outside the that fence? That brown one right there I think is going to eat our lunch pretty good. That's the mama outside there. Yeah, yeah. I think. What number is the mama? Don't look at me mama. Let's turn. Ah. I'm going to tag these turn that one loose. Bring it over here Matt. Bring it over here. Yeah, we're gonna turn this cap loose. Alright. Man, I think this brown one's gonna eat our lunch. Nah. Oh, son of a gun. P.S. Mother. Oh. Did you get that one? <laughs> yeah, I know that hurt. Oh, sh. That hurt like I went to grab it back. Yeah, let's, let's do this different way. Baby, I'm a gangster too, and it takes a little time, girl. You don't wanna mess with me, mess with me. Baby, I'm a gangster too. Baby, I'm a gangster too. <laughs> yeah. yeah! Yeah! I don't know if that's how you do it or not. <laughs> Boy, Joe's ready for a tryout with Tennessee Titans. Oh, I want my beer! <laughs> All American strong safety back in the day. Right there. Red Bank! <laughs> Crazy stuff out here on the ranch, man. I'm trying to earn my keep. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Beats cutting hair every day. Uh, I don't think that's how they do the yeah, radio, but. Well, you're the football. We should have had you out there tackling the bulls. Listen, man, I'm Sometimes trying to earn my shirt. I'm trying to earn my shirt. I know if I got his neck, I could rotate him. I wouldn't grab his legs. I was we like, this thing's long. We need to sell the shirts. Yeah. Shirts for sale. What could I have done, for sale. Okay, so tell me a little bit about when you got kicked. Like, how how that feel? How how so that play? I thought out? I was gonna be brave and just grab that calf by his tail and hold him, and then that way Knox could grab a hold of side of him, and we just flank him down, and tag him. But as soon as I grabbed his tail, he decided he was gonna fire with both feet and got me on this side and got Knox on the other side. Thank goodness it wasn't in the face. <laughs> that would have been bad. Uh, I know that would hurt. Yeah, yeah, but uh, yeah, I was still sore a little bit as it is, but I was thankful it wasn't in my face and it was my arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. All right, show your battle wounds. Let's see them. That's the battle wound. It don't look bad, it's but it hurts like hell. Line them up. Come on, show them. Well, mine ain't scratched up. He just hit me on the side of the arm. He got me good. I got two to the chest. Mm. <laughs> I, 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 I got one and then one right there. <laughs> No, no marks. Just Barker's <laughs> boobies. <laughs> You're a big fat man. Those. I'm a titty fan, and I want to see yours too. <laughs> oh god. What that one dude on the cooking show say? If fat means flavor, then I'm fat delicious. Means flavor, then I'm delicious. <laughs> All the videos I'm gonna drop. That ain't gay, but it's really funny. That's gonna wait for the right one. <laughs> Uh, we'll go get in the pond half naked, <laughs> <laughs> washing off in the pond. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys. So uh, 
it is 9.20. We got a late start. Like I said, we probably didn't get in the field to what? 7 o'clock, Zach? Yeah. And uh, had two new calves last night or the night before. We're not for sure. They look like they might have been two days old. But uh, 24 old calves, 24 hour old calves. So we doctored them up, got them tagged, got the DNA test like you saw us do. We're taking our creek feeder now for our yearling bulls and moving it back to a bull pen down by the creek. We're a little afraid that our creeks are running dry. We're in a little bit of a drought here in uh, Tennessee right now. It's mid-June, a little early for that. So we'll probably have to bring some water down, let the creek fill back up. We have a spring back here that has a big pond that we might actually fence off some pond for them. But hopefully in the next 30 to 60 days, we can get these bulls into a bull cell somewhere across the Midwest. So stay tuned to see these bulls leave. Please subscribe, like the video, comment. We can't do this without you. Appreciate you guys. What's going on, Parker man? Sarah, that was probably one of the most fun days of working cattle. I mean, it was one of the hotter days. Definitely but, hot. Definitely frustrating, but it ended up good. Yeah, so some of the... The cows some, were in a mood today. Yeah, yeah, I think the heat. Yeah, they were not... Uh, they weren't as agile as normal. And then <laughs> cleaned up Stets. Stets had a rough day today, but get a shot there of that little... That guy. You want a hat. That is the only hat in the world. So. Where'd you get that from? Sarah orders all of our Stetsons for us, but uh, my first Stetson was given to me by my unit uh, in the Army. We're an air cab unit. A little hard to ride a four-wheeler in. I don't know if y'all saw that earlier. <laughs> yeah. Stetson hit the ground today. Yeah, so we got XO wore out back here. He's he's chilling, trying to find a little shade. <laughs> XO. Best dog in the world. I think he thinks he's part border calling. Oh, yeah. You see him nipping them, nipping them bulls today and moving the cows for us. Oh, he yeah. keeps those cows in check. He's 70% helpful, 30% nuisance, but he's trying. <laughs> Get XO! XO! Come on! Come on, boy. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I uh, know everybody's eager to learn something. We're still learning. If you've got better ways to work the cattle, if you have equipment questions, if you see something we're using on the ranch, you want to know more about it. Uh, we're small, we're easy. It's a good time to ask us what you want to see or ask us about what we're doing. We have lots of time to respond back. Let's know what you want to see you next time. See you later.